morning, everyone. Welcome to Mine O'Clock. Hey, everybody. Sorry, just furiously eating my my porridge. My my Tim Hortons porridge. Thanks, Tim Hortons, for not sponsoring this show. One day, one day they will get get it right. Hey, everybody, welcome. I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, we got some subs coming in here. Croco King, 50 months in a row. Cataclysmic Reverb, 38 months in a row. Anime Kitty, 12 months. Can't believe it's been a year. Keep being awesome, everyone. Thank you so much, Anime Kitty. Nathan J underscore GA. Brand new sub. That's not true. I feel like you've been here before. Why doesn't that say, hmm. Sepsis, 13 months, the most superstitious of resubs. Annex, Annex Marius, brand new sub. Full house. 13 with that 12 month resub says the one year and ink slayer 35 months in a row says 35 months that's almost three years time flies when lure is making streams and whoa lethendrin nine months in a row add an optional message for loading ready run thank you so much red shoes jeff five five gifted subs man i haven't seen one of those in a while thank you uh dr cannonball nippos Ro Rokel, Mindfire13, and Jim the Rabid Cow. Uh, welcome to the five of you. Thank you so much for being in chat, for hanging out, and thank you to Red Shoes Jeff for giving those five subs. Uh, Novo, Tiempo, 11 months. Hang on, I subbed yesterday. K okay, Twitch. Echo Tech Knight, 30 months in a row. Welcome back. Garfi, 435 months. Also, 35 months. Johnny Glitch. Johnny Glitch. Hey, I watched you stream the other night. Johnny Glitch, 32 months. Thank you again, James, for the other day. It was really encouraging. You really are as awesome as advertised with the heart. Thank you, Johnny Glitch. Your game was, the game that you were playing was, was super neat. I don't remember what it was called. It was very old and it looked fun. Uh, and it was very late, which is why I don't remember. Uh, totally Defiant, 30 months. Thank you so much. Adom, right, or A. D O M. I don't know. Uh, totally defined 30 months. Welcome back. Oivan, Oivanaze. I'm going to go with Oivanaze. 30, oh no, brand new sub. Sorry. Andrew Monkey. 29 months in a row. I think this is the first time catching this live. So huzzah. Enjoy the mining and or crafting, James. Thank you. Sketchy Details, 65 months says, hello, James. Hello, Sketchy Details. And finally, life character, 30 months in a row. 30 months are so many months. Thank you, everybody. What a wonderful way to start the stream. And now I'm going to have another bite of oatmeal. Because you can't stop me. And it's not crunchy. That's the thing. I don't like when people eat on stream, but also my oatmeal is going to go cold. <laughs> uh, but luckily, it's oatmeal. So it's not crunchy, which is nice. So that's like, it's one for two. It's just one of those games. Just suck it down. You no oatmeal or porridge. Uh, what's the difference? Oh. Hey James, since you're eating, can I grind coffee in the background? Yeah. You sure can. I'll chew really loudly. Put the oatmeal in the coffee. What? Somebody told me to put my oatmeal in my coffee. It's a little. Ah, big brain. Uh, all right. So, anyways, let's get to the actual meat and potatoes, as it were. I've done that. It's not as good as you would think. Joe Kim, I wouldn't think it would be good at all. So, that's where you and I differ, apparently. <laughs> Joe Kim, you're the kind of person who thinks... Yeah, I'm going to put oatmeal in my coffee and it's going to be good. Uh, all right, so the plan today uh, was to go and so we, we've we spent the last couple weeks, probably actually two months now, I guess, um, hanging out, thanks, uh, hanging out on the vanilla server, which has been fun. We completely redid the nether hub. It was a really fun project. I think it turned out really well. Um, and I think it will work really well for future expansion. Um, so job well done us, I guess. 
And then the plan was to go from that into our next mod pack. And that mod pack is, is um, in fact, I could bring it up here. And let me just go full screen here and go over to this. Also, I can get music going again here. Put it down a little bit. So here is Paths of Magic 3. Uh, this is yet another pack made by Serafina, who is not only just a generally speaking mod pack creator, but has become our uh, community mod pack creator, having created both or having created both before this for the community and for for our streams, um, Snorshcraft. And they have been working for, uh, they've been working on um, Surgecraft uh, for Surge, uh, which has been a super fun mod pack. But Paths of Magic 3 is a, as you would guess, a very magical based mod pack, um, which has generally been, um, that's true. You are only one of the people who built Snorchcraft. There were other people who built Snorchcraft. Um, um, sorry, so what I was saying is, uh, when it comes to magic mods, I have generally kind of shied away from them. I'm, I'm not, I really enjoy tech mods. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, and they sort of, uh, I think blend well with my play style of what I'd like to be doing in modded Minecraft. That being said, it's not that I don't have a problem. That's interesting. It's not that I don't obviously have a problem with uh, magic mods. I just don't really play them very much. Um, so I was like, let's, how about we, we play, how about, how about the next mod pack we do is straight up magic. Um, like base magic. I, I, I don't know, maybe there's some stuff in uh, here that's on the techie kind of side, but Generally speaking, I don't really know much about this mod pack. We're going to learn about it next week when we start uh, the actual stream. Uh, or st start the actual pack, which I'm excited about. But in the meantime, we were going to take a week off and go and hang out and check out uh, the Searchcraft server. Now, I, I know that they were having some issues. Um, I guess I have them here. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, friends. So... Hey, what's up, my dude? Hey, James. Is everything fixed? Yes. All right. Maybe. So it would seem. Issue solved. Well, that's good. What was the issue? Uh, it seemed to have been an entity called um, um, item tile wood dot big oak. Uh, sure. We had to go into the console and do a like auto, auto destroy all of X item, uh, and then once that happened, um, the server was actually log onable. Nice. Uh, I don't know what was producing those items. Uh... <laughs> uh, hey, really quickly, Eddie at the Gub, thirteen months. I can just never remember drop by to do this thing. Uh, Fifty McNasty, brand new sub, lonely text, thirty five months. I will miss the stream, but I want to say hello. Thank you. Logan Aura, 30 months, sorry, not 30, three months. And Dragon Knight 101, 12 months in a row. Woot, here's to another year. Thank you. Why is this asking Woot, for my email big password? Oak. Hold on. It's being stupid. <sighs> big underscore oak. There we go. Uh, can you all hear the music, by the way? No. <laughs> I can hear my music. Not you. I'm helping. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Puts on music. Barely? Okay. I can turn this up a bit. Is that better? Oh. I've got so much better with music. Holy moly. Hold on. I can turn it up a bit more. There you go. Oh, 
All right. Oatmeal finished. Yeah, I can't. I can't see what is big oat. Big oat. I can only assume it's dark oak. All right. So while this is loading up, uh, Surge, tell us a little bit about Surgecraft. So. Uh, I play a fair amount of Minecraft, and predominantly I was only playing a fair amount of vanilla Minecraft. Because I was all like, meh, 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 I'm too good for mods, meh, 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 meh. Uh, and that persisted for, I don't know, like the better part of a year, until Serafina was just like, look, Serge, mods can be really fun. And I was like, I don't know about that, I played modded with, like, you and Uno, and it seemed kind of fun. And she's like, no, 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 no. Like, let me, I got this. Uh, and so Serafina put together a little thingy called Surgecraft, which is a introductory um, um, modded Minecraft experience for the uninitiated. <laughs> Basically, it's like it's like modded light uh, so that I could see what modded Minecraft is like without being kind of like super scared because of all the super wild nuclear reactors and weirdo stuff that you and uh, you and Uno were doing last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, how does that sound? That, that's pretty good. No, oh, good lord, that photo. It cycles now, though. That's neat. <laughs> yeah. There's one of, of Surge trying to kill Ashton. I I beg your pardon. That's from the Lars Gerhard. Everything is, everything is fine. That's you being a judge somewhere. I don't oh, know where that is. Oh, that's the old office. Oh man, that's a re that's actually fair. Well, not, I guess it's like last summer now, but I just want to see all these photos now. Yeah, just so go to your new up. home, peasant. What is this photo? I, uh, what are what are you seeing? I have to bring up the stream. The I'm one of you now. lounging in your house next to KFC. Oh. <laughs> Where does that one even come from? That seems okay, like that... that seems like a photo that should have stayed on one of our phones. <laughs> Okay, so that photo, that photo, um, hi, that photo was from a KFC dinner date night with May and Ben. Oh. Uh, cause KFC is very special to May. Uh, so we, we would have little chicken celebration nights. Why KFC? Uh, that was before Chicken 649 opened. Uh, I mean, why not KFC? I what think... Color is this what looks to be wrong? cut off. I'm not sure if that's me or what's going on here. Obviously, you can see mod pack by Serafina, main menu by SA Jewers, quote list bay, the brew crew mod team, menu backgrounds by Colin, who is our uh, Desert Plus photographer, Andrew, Ben, and loading ready run. Credits look fine on my PC, so that's you, James. That's weird. Oh, it's probably, it's uh, probably to do with... Ah. Oh. There. Now it's going to be better. There you go. Copper and tin. There we go. What are these? All right. Let's get into this. Uh, right. I don't have it set up here. Hold on. What's the... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't remember... Serge, can you uh, DM me the uh, server IP on uh, Discord or something? Oh, yeah, sure. Because uh, you haven't got it set on but the office. No, I've never played it at the office, so. Uh, Meow Zux Zuxi, 27 months. I should know how to pronounce your name by now. Dented Pockets, 30 months in a row. It's a number divisible by two. That's true. All credit for the main menu goes Aha. to the SA Jurors, who is an awesome human who helps me out. Who helped me out, helps me out with that? Nice. It's eight point eight point eight point eight point four. I believe you. Uh, James, I DM'd you on Discord. Yep. I got that it. Sounds like Google. All right. Let's call this uh, Surge Butts. How dare you? Easily. Hey, check it out. Uh, 420. Beer, 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 beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's log into the server. I'm excited. This I, I've also been playing a decent amount on the server. 
Uh, I haven't actually gotten a chance to play with Surge for a few weeks now, just because our schedule hasn't lined up. Um, but I did a whole modded thing without you, James. I know. Well, I was very almost, impressed. So, almost, almost, almost. So this is our base. This is this is where Surge and I and Joe live. Wait, yeah. does Joe actually live here? Or does she actually uh, have another she's... base as well? She's mostly moved here. She's transported most of her animals over here. The main, the main thing that she loved was, uh, basically, we introduced her to morbs, which are basically pokeballs. Yes. Uh, mm. So she's, she's very cozy here now. That's and also so how um, mob grinders work and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't gotten into that yet or not, but so um, when we originally started playing, Surge was like, "Hey, let's have our base." You can see the remnants of our old base over here. Actually, hold on one second. Ow, missed it. Uh, there it is. So we're, we're going to start the server tour right where it all started. This was Surge and I's first base. It was a dumb idea. It was such a dumb idea. Uh, terribly. <laughs> look, look how cool this is. Yeah, terribly stupid idea, but it's a cool view. I'm, I'd like to maybe put something up here in the future. Like a little gazebo? Yeah, but there's still some chests left over and the trees we planted. There's probably some Have you, have you just littered it all up there and... There's like, look at this. There's there's some seared bricks in here. There's uh, an old cactus shovel. There's two buckets in that. Build. Look at that. All right, grab them all. Um. So yeah. Um. I owe Otter forty months. Forty months. That's sure not a small number of months. And Red Mage Gizmo three months. Excited to see Surgecraft. So as Surge said at the beginning here, it's it is a mod pack developed uh, to be on the lighter side of things. So the number of mods is actually fairly low. 89 or something like that? Yeah, and I mean, that's not all like content mods. <laughs> Obviously some of those are, are libraries and what other yeah. nonsense that you have to make mods actually work for. Um, but really quickly, so the idea of today was a base tour of some bases. I just realized I have no experience to jump around to places, so that's kind of awkward, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I, hang on, I can go and get you some. Get some food here. Uh, yeah, can I get a bunch of experience too, Uno? If, if that's a thing that we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me a minute. So this is sort of the the first room that we started in. Uh, you can see that we made uh, heavy use of the storage drawers mod, uh, and are still using it right now. Um, all of these are actually uh, linked into um, our refined storage, so. It works fairly well. You can see that, you know, if there's a thousand in here, that's seeable here. A thousand forty-two, because there is a thousand forty-two right there. I like, I really like being able to see both. Yeah, no, I, like, uh, I think this is like cool. Like, at a glance, knowing, yeah, I think, I think it's an interesting mix of like, a couple things. And this isn't everything that we have either. There are, no. there are some storage systems that are hooked up elsewhere. Um, there's some basic um, thermal expansion, uh, things here. In fact, I'm going to actually charge up my jetpack real quick here. Cool. Uh, if you come downstairs, you can see one of our now two power systems. Uh, one and a half power systems. One and a half second power system. <laughs> the second one is not done yet. That's fair. So lots of lava, which I'm just manually getting. Uh, we've got 180 buckets in each of those. So 360 buckets. Uh, well, 180 buckets. Oh, that one's empty now. Uh, there's because there's a, yeah. a reservoir that's 160, and the portable tank's 180. So yeah. there's there's like a lot more than that, right? Uh, oh yeah, James, you'll be really proud of me. Look at this. I made a compactor all by myself. Ooh, Ooh nice. Look at that. Uh, and I think I think I also did. I do the Magna Crucible fluid transposer. Did we do that together? We I did that remember. one together. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm learning. If you come over here, you'll see our uh, Tinker's Construct um, uh, smelter. It works quite well. Uh, if you come down here, this is my room. Uh, stay out. I'm not allowed in there. Yeah, this is this is my room, which Surge discovered last two weeks ago, last week or something like God, that. that. It was last week. Up. It was the day that all the creepy dolls showed up. Uh, we hmm. all, Surge logged onto the server last week, and there were a hundred of these things placed around our base. So we had a fun scavenger hunt and found all but four or five? Yeah, something like that. Seraphina, have you not seen my room yet? <laughs> uh, 
I built this weeks ago and just didn't tell him in hopes that someday he would actually stumble upon it. Uh, but I think I don't think that was gonna happen. So <laughs> this is my bedroom. <laughs> uh, and then if you go down here, you're gonna see sort of the underground pipe access. Uh, so you've got our refined storage and our power cables running all around here. Ah, uh, that's where it is. Uh, so this is up into the building that Serge has been working on the last couple days. Um, this one goes to, if you come down here, this will go up to our refined storage room. And if you go all the way down here, uh, this is going to take you to uh, the Arboretum. How do I make a paper Ooh. binding again? All the way down there. God, let me tell you about network transmitters. No, I like the I like I know that I can do network transmitters. I just like the long run of, of pipes. It's fun. I think that's super cool. Also, yeah. network transmitter takes more power. Mm, then I think I the... don't know if it takes more power than this amount of cable. <laughs> oh, actually, my dude, uh, you may notice that I've actually expanded some of the the tunnels here. Yeah. You no. used to go to the left here. Look, I even learned how to use covers. I know Ooh. that's very impressive. Uh, yeah. we, we need some more for up here because I actually hooked up the chest over here to our storage system last night. For where? Uh, if you look at this, uh, where are you? Come back here. I need. We need covers for here and here. Which chest is this? So I the, mean, I could come with could me. Just whisper. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to keep running back and forth through the Jeffrey's tubes. Yeah, exactly. But I just like the tubes, man. Tubes are fun. I just realized my jetpack's in the... Oh, God. That's fine. This chest. Oh. oh. Is now hooked oh, up. Oh, I, I deliberately didn't hook it up because I was worried about the system overflowing. We have a lot of room. <laughs> Yeah. Also, okay. this chest stops it from overflowing because it's not actually exporting them to the system. It's just reading this chest. Oh! Ah! That's, oh, clever, that's what the clever, external... Clever. Yeah, that's, that's what... Uh, that's a different tube. Yeah. Oh, keep... Uh, ignore this hole in the floor. I'm going to move it. What? Why is it here? Uh, this, this is a proof of concept. I ran out of time on the stream yesterday before I finished it. I'm actually going to center it in the middle of the room. Ah. So that's going to be all the, the water doohickeys. Ah, so what did you build here yesterday? So uh, this is a cactus power thingy. Uh, I was tired of catching fire every time I went into the nether. Um, uh, apparently that's a feature, not a bug. Uh -huh. um, so if you come over here, mm. I'm, I'm outside behind the building. Outside. Yeah, and... Sorry, I was just taking a drink of coffee as you said that. Okay. Oh, okay. You got uh, a little I cactus made... going. Yeah, a little cactus farm, and then it could be scaled. Oops, I just realized there's a, an extra block than there needs to be right now. Uh, there's an extra block there. Uh, when I was over at Uno's base, I, I found that uh, these systems can overflow, which is why I made a redundant um, water system beneath it as well. That'll also pipe into it. So uh, if the vacuumulator doesn't pick everything up, it'll also fall in the water streams and then also get piped in. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so it's a combination vacuumulator as well as a water collection thingy. So that pipes all of the cacti inside. I feel like you made the cactus farm like one block too close to the building if you want to go up with this thing. Why? Actually, hold on a second. I just realized it's not actually piping in anything. I broke it. I need at least one fluid tube. But you, can go, you can go up with it quite nicely because you put snab on top of the glass panes. And... Yeah, no, you can go up. It's just going to... Uh like bump up against the building oh, i guess it's like well i i don't understand what you mean by bump up against the building oh i guess it's like in between those two well you put you put the first block of snad on this one and no no no. you build it you build it right on top of itself it's not going to is it not going to interfere with that block that you were literally just standing on in the button i i don't think so and worst case scenario we move the building everything's fine why would you build the building? oh no yeah, yeah why yeah, would you yeah, move yeah. the building and not the farm <laughs> Farm's way easier. I I don't believe 
That seems very out of character that one of my builds would potentially be off by one block. That what what kind of an idiot would have a build be off by a block, James? Can I turn it? Also, James, down? you might yeah, apparently second. want to turn me down a bit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That 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 ain't me. Snad Snad is like sand on crack. Yeah, so it's great. Wait, is this Snad over here? Yeah, yes, it is. Snad. Okay, it's Snad. Nice. Uh, we even got Surge to make uh, some Soul Snad. Wait, what? Have you not seen Soul Snad? No, I don't think so. Oh, you should see. You should make some Soul Snad and check out the texture. Those creepy yeah. dolls are disturbing. Put me over here. All right, let's get my jetpack back. Oh yeah, it's good. Boop. Boop. Now apparently you're in the booth for you. No, I switched it back. Uh, Shambling yeah. Crenshaw, 29 months, sick today, but at least I've got lure friends to help me get through the icky feeling. 26, uh, Curse Sins, 26 months. I love everything you do. Thank you all. Thank you so much for the great content. Uh, Bro Tato, Bro Tato Keith? Bro Tato Keith, I think? Brand new sub, welcome. And Larconis, 36 months to to tell a tale of crafted minds, prepare to hear of times most fine. From indris, in, industrious works with no contender to momentous and of unmatched splendor. So come one on, come one and all, good. watch the tale unfold to see a world of diamonds and gold. That's nice. All right, uh, where's my, let, what, oh shoot, I haven't actually showed off like the big build yet. Oh, the big build. Ooh. <clears throat> so, Surge has also uh, made this uh, river quite pretty. Oh, yeah, the uh, the canals. You yeah. know who's a huge fan of canals? Canals. Oh, no. yeah, Everyone loves canals. These look good. So, you, it looks like you've actually sculpted this river here as well. The next thing I need is a lock. And you've stopped... Oh, okay. No, you've you've sculpted all the down here as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. All the way around here. This is where you stopped. Yeah. And then you get into the arboretum. Which I is... like the little paths. Uh, uh, paths are nice. Yeah, this looks good. So we've got apple trees and dragon fruit trees. We've got. Nothing trees, peach trees. Serge, There's missing, one tree. You're fig. missing a sign. You're missing, you're missing a sign for fig tree. Oh, oh. Lime tree what? doesn't have an image on it. Yeah, it, Lemon it's. Lemon tree. Oh god, just sloppy work over here by. Orange slime. Virus Charlie, what kind of what is that sign called? Help me out. These are it's the a uh, fancy, fancy sign. sign. Jungle fancy sign. Neuronax, brand new sub, welcome to the channel. Anyway, so this was um, a pretty big project uh, that was worked on a few weeks ago. Is there a chest there somewhere? Why Why would I not have a sign? Is there what? a chest here? I can't see a chest around. It has no. a fancy thingy in it. What? Oh, it's been in my inventory since I made that build. <laughs> waiting, waiting for this moment. Coconut. Um, all right, which one was it? Uh, right the, here. Yeah, that one right there. And it's called a fig tree. Your, your lime tree is missing an image as well. Yeah, we'll get there. Was we'll there something there. on the on the nutmeg tree? Uh, nutmeg tree has yet to actually yield anything, uh, which where, has been very upsetting. Where was the nutmeg tree? Um, it's at the back. Uh, pecan tree, almond tree. Yeah, there's nutmeg on here. There is? Yeah. It hadn't yielded yeah. yet. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Yeah, it's got stuff. Yeah, there you go, there's one. Yay, finally! Okay, the fig tree is producing. Why haven't you planted a cinnamon tree yet? Uh, so interesting note about the cinnamon tree. Um, you don't, it doesn't actually drop cinnamon like, um, 
uh, like you see the other spices and stuff there. Instead, mm. what it does is it, you you actually harvest the bark or something like that. Oh, there's a recipe for it now. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, well. Is it apparently... is it the same as the maple tree where you break the bark and you get maple syrup? That's yeah. what you had to do previously, but apparently apparently that's no longer the case. Ah, I'm so happy. Look at our look at our thingy. It's yielding things now. Nice. Anyway, so this is the tree room. The arboretum, please, James. It has a name. Yeah, the tree room. I. And it's got a little mm. platform here that you can stand on. I'd like to think it's more like a tree house. That's yeah, that's fair. Now, oh, I, I mean, where the trees live. Uh oh, I broke that tree. How did I break that? What? I put a big hole in this tree. Oh, right. did you land on it? Yeah. Leaves leaves don't like to be landed on, James. Dynamic dynamic leaves will break if you um, land on them too much. All right. Sure. I won't land on any more trees. And hopefully those will grow back. James shows up, one stream, smashes all of my hard work trees. How did you get mossy or whatever to grow on some of these lampposts? Oh, uh, you put a leafy thing on it. Oh, um, that's cool. um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, literally a leaf block. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I saw that trick from going over to uh, Foxmars base. Does that yes! work on... Nutmeg! Ah! <laughs> nice. Nah, uh, what? That didn't seem to work. Well, right. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? You know? I was trying to uh, watering can. Uh, it takes forever. Uh, the issue is how slow it is. Watering can. Uh, uh, actually, I don't think watering can did anything. Um, uh, when I did a bunch of tests on how how much it yielded, I had to turn the game tick speed up to like ten thousand in a creative world to. There's a so whole. You can get anything. We did a whole. We did a whole science thing to make sure this thing would work. It was wow. very. It was very interesting. This dragon fruit's hardcore. Right. Oh yeah, I also have double vanilla bean, which is a problem. So I probably have to. Right, one of these was supposed to be an olive tree. That's what the other one was supposed to be. Writes down olive tree. All right. Let's go. Let's go see what else everybody else is up to. Uh, Uno, you 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 grabbed a bunch of experience for humans. I did. Uh, here. Just have a have a toke of that. Uh, it 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 ate my levels. It took uh, away my shift levels. Shift right click it. Okay, I, I probably need what twenty levels. Oh, there's I've, a lot I've, here. I've got twenty five. That thing is full. Okay, uh, hold on a second. You have to turn off my. Eh, eh. Please there play again. Lame. Wait, why do I have two shovels? Hooray! I've experienced now. Cool. There's loads in there. Yeah. All right. So the way that one of the ways there are many ways you can get around. Obviously, uh, there is the Nether, uh, but we also have waystones. So, although I only have waystones for certain places, not all of them. So we'll figure something. Yeah, out. I've I've only got certain people's bases. So. Well, I mean, I guess to start we should go check out Uno's base. Who? Uh, it's the More guy like who's he. in this chat with us. More like who know, am I right? Ha! No, got him. Oh. Who knows tower? <laughs> Jesus. That yeah, is, it's a big tower. That is literally the most Uno thing I've ever seen in my life. Have you have you not been to my base recently? No, it's been a while. Alright, so you've got uh, Okay. Yeah, so the smelter, the smelter doesn't really do anything anymore. Uh, I can take it down. I'm not, not really using it. My initial thought was to like set something over this like river here as like a sort of crossing the river sort of house, and then I quickly decided I couldn't be bothered with that. Lord Hoss right. says that's a nice start to a wall, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I realized there's uh, uh, an important thing I never explained, which is who are the people who are on this server and why? Because uh, a lot of the bases we're going to be visiting. Um, so this pack was made by Serafina, uh, but cool. the people who are all 
on it are are the mods on my channel. I didn't want to bring that, but uh, you know, I, I'm not in a position where I could pay my mods, but I sure can't afford to pay $35 a month to host a server for us all to play Surgecraft on. So the bases we're going to be visiting are probably a lot of names you're familiar of familiar with in chat. Uh, and you're like, well, why are they in here and I'm not? That That's sort of the connection there. Look at them, they're all in our chat. Serafina, Yay. Raven, Sharkfist, Anime Kitty, Foxmar. Wow, I I do I actually dig this entrance a lot though. Yeah, it's good. It's like aesthetics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got you got the frame. We're doing a chat. We're doing a chat. I'm 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 getting to him. Oh, the inside is hollow. <laughs> Look up. Aesthetics. I mean, he hasn't yeah. built up yet. He will. So what's I'm, going I'm on going, here? So this is this dark oak is getting sap. Yeah, I'm converting the sap uh, along with some sawdust to make phyto grow. Ah, uh, and that phyto grow is growing additional cactus for me. Okay. So this is just growing a whole heap of cactus. Wait, wait, wait! Why more cactus when you have a whole cactus thingy elsewhere? Because yeah, sometimes it's not enough cactus. Hey, you need more power. All right, that's cool. Uh, and the these machines will produce more than one lighter. direction. Wait, mm -hmm. is that a is that a lemon or a lime? No, no, that's uh, that's the phyto grow. Uh, that's phyto grow. So you can craft phyto grow. So this thing in the middle is crafting phyto grow from slag, nitre, and sawdust. Then it gets infused with sap on the left, and then it gets energized on the right, and then it makes its way into these. Phytogenic isolators that grow. They're like little machines that can grow cactus and things like that. Uh, and then I've got another one over here that's growing uh, dark oak wood, if, in case I run out of sawdust. And then cactus is fed into this ender chest, which goes downstairs. Nice. And then down here is your kitchen. Yep. Your giant Just a kitchen. simple kitchen. Yep. Oh, what's under and the do you stairs? like do you like these these uh, these slants? Under the stairs is very cool. This weird little magic thing. So um, Uno, the exterior of Uno's base is a massive death trap. You might notice there isn't a torch in sight. Uh, <laughs> so if you're here in the evening, there's just creepers everywhere, and they'll just gather right here at the entrance and just look in longingly. It's <laughs> a bit further back. Yeah, there's a there's a flower under here which keeps mobs away <laughs> so the uh the floating julia keeps mobs out smart i uh, you know what else is smart torches <laughs> yeah just yeah i've got torches just, inside just a bunch of magnum torches it's like you've solved a very interesting problem <laughs> apparently well, I, apparently I you need to door. teach uno how to make panels now at this oh i i have plenty of panels like uh the corner of the base is one long so that 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 corner on the outside is just covers because there's one long power cable going up uh I, yeah, I'm surprised. I just haven't <coughs> recovered this. Serge, have you seen the angle? The uh, I, block I have. Three? They're very neat. It, it's it's weird. It, it was natural enough that my brain was kind of like, huh, okay. It lets you do some cool stuff. Because uh, I, I wanted to make this a bit more interesting curved as well, which is why the I interesting put curve here. is very good. Yeah, I I. Put and my also slabs, James. Stairs. My slabs. Yeah, but <laughs> now you don't need slabs. Anyways. Down we go. These stairs are also frames. Well, what uh, if I did this with the canal? Sorry, oh, go ahead, Udo. So these stairs are frames as well, because you ordinarily can't chisel this particular block. It's the it's this block, same as this one, which oh, is uh, the yeah. layers. So I put the frame stairs in so I could carry on that texture down oh. the stairs. Oh. So you can see, if you look, if you type framed, framed in JEI, you can see, like, Frame blocked, frame stairs, frame slants, uh, framed outer corner, uh, inner corner, and then there's the reinforced, which I don't... What does the reinforced do? I don't know the difference, but the outer corners 
Uh, what floor are we on? And basically, you can just apply whatever filter, or like whatever uh, texture you want to it from a block. Yeah, so you like can. That's what these they are the outer like. corners. Yeah, and then put a texture on them. Hang on, let me get them in the right. Oh, weird. So you can do so something like. So this is like... what you have to do. And then you can go like, and then give it a second. Uh, I haven't got a block. Hang on. I have this grilled cheese sandwich. That, that, work? that, that won't work. It's fine. There, I'll just grab this, this. Brock, block. Block. Huh. And you can put any block on it. Yeah. No, I like the idea that you're greeted by a little pyramid when you walk into the building. You know, you're just like, <laughs> and, and behold, my decorative mini pyramid. Or, or, or ooh, ooh. A and miniature you do a of, the, pyramid. of the tower in the middle of the tower. <laughs> any full block, as Seraphina points out. Yeah. Uh, All right, down we go. Uh, next floor is just where I've got some refined storage. So I've taken down the storage uh, drawers that I had here and I've moved everything into refined storage. Uh, there's my egg production system in here as well for no reason. Uh huh. <laughs> Certainly not for any pranks or anything. No, definitely not. Where's the rest of your storage stuff? It's all It's all in refined storage now. Yeah, but where are your hard drives and... Oh, further down. Ah. You need to number your floors, Zuno. I think that'd be really interesting. Your very uh, big this bedroom. Is, this is my bedroom. It's the room with the bedroom, in, uh, with the bed in it. You should make I just a, love it. It's like you should just cribs. Fill, you should just fill this entire floor with beds. Ooh, ooh. That's a very <laughs> Uno aesthetic. Oh, the worst. <laughs> and like the uh, walls, too. This, this floor was going to be trees, but it's now not. Fair. Oh, okay, so here's some of your... So you got some crafters. You've got three 64K drives. you got a manipulator, fluid storage. Transmitter. Yeah, so I like, I like keeping my fluids blocks rather than discs, uh, just because it's a little bit easier to organize, so I can make like a, a water fluid storage block to just have water in it. Uh, a crafter will automatically craft so if you go into actually you don't anything know. anything that would use a crafting bench can be done in a craft yeah so like these are patterns to automatically craft so you can say hey i need a pa i need a tin gear you can tell the system i need six of these and it'll just make them for you oh you have no idea how many times i've had to make stupid gears okay yeah. craft well, writes down crafter well, we're gonna get into i think maybe on monday um yeah yeah, we'll nice. we'll keep we'll expand the refined storage a little bit because yeah, we got that whole room right. Ooh, we can yeah. do an entire wall of crafters, James. Holy yeah. moly! So you can plan. you can also use you can also use them to uh, tell machines to craft things. So if you've got something that needs to be smelted, yeah, you can put a crafter against a furnace and it will put the item into the furnace. Do you have any of those? Yes, downstairs. Ah, they're further down. Okay. Yep. Uh, so this is my sugar cane room. Wait. Oh, this isn't automatic. No. <laughs> I don't need that much sugar cane that I need to make an automatic sugar cane farm, though. I thought I knew you, man. Well, fine. I'll make a sugar cane farm at some point. <laughs> what do you need all the sugar cane for? Um, I needed a lot of paper. I was making a lot of books at oh, the time. There you go. Make it rain. No, I threw my slingshot and it's sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wicker Knight, 18 months in a row, new mod o'clock, new mod pack, new victims. Technically, this is not the mod pack that we will be playing going forward on uh, my o'clock. We're just checking it out today, uh, but it is fun. And so this is Triple Star, 85, brand new sub. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, uh, this is uh, my Britannia setup. Uh, if you get too close to these things, they will start sucking up your XP. Okay. Because uh, they use XP for producing mana. Not my precious levels. Uh, yeah, you're on yeah your own I, I haven't Britannia, done Surge. a great deal with Britannia. But this is something that Surge might like to see, actually. If you come over here, uh, I can give you more XP, it's fine. I live here now. Um, do you see this line here? Yes, you step on the pressure plate and the thingy happens. 
Have you? Are you aware of this redstone though, and how it goes directly up a wall? Oh, the redstone is going directly up a wall. It's also greenstone, not redstone. Oh, if it has a signal, that is, that that redstone, is redstone paste. Yeah, that's oh. cool. So can you could put redstone on the ceiling if you wanted. Huh. Holy moly! Okay, that's cool. Pardon me. Ah, uh, so this is your mob farm. Yeah, this is the yeah, thing that this... we need to get into as well. This, hey, guess, hey James, guess what I found the other day? The what? I got two blaze spawners. Nice. Oh, are we still on peaceful? Uh, no. I'm those magma slime. There we go. They automatically dying. There we go. They're getting they're getting pulled through now. Oh, what what the? Yeah. Hi. Mystery. So yeah, this is my mob spawners. So there's three different spawners: what? blazers, uh, magma slime, and enderman. I turned on the blaze and it's not working. Uh, it's probably because I have enough blaze rods. Yeah. So the, it's controlled by my refined storage system now, so if I have enough blaze rods, it should turn off. Ah, uh, okay. That's cool. Uh, oh, that's so very there's cool. A, there's a mob encapsulator here, which captures uh, things in mobs, uh, which then, on the next level... You can see all these mobs moving around up here. Ooh! Wow, so many Pokeballs. So you can see this this one is being replenished, and you'll see um, mobs coming down out of this one eventually. Ha, huh, that's cool. Hmm. And then that ends up in this centrifugal separator eventually. Which will then instabulate them. But if I take out, whoops, I didn't want that. Whatever it was. Oh, there are your crafters. Yeah. Oh, what? There's a dungeon right here. What? No. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, did someone just pick up some of my cable? Oh, I have a cable in my hand, you know. Yeah. Cool. There's all these perfectly good resources here. Yeah. Look at all this. Sh I'm taking this iron. Yeah, I'll take it. So iron for this. We got iron. I'll get some of this nickel. Redstone. It's lead that I need. Oh yeah, and while I think on, so have uh, you have you encountered the drill yet? Have I encountered who yet? The drill, the flux ball drill. No. What's up with the chest See? over here? Oh, I think I just had a load of. Uh, <laughs> Stuff in my inventory. Which chest? Come over here. What? Ooh, Uno, what? There's <laughs> there's 13 gravel, 8 flint, ow, a cobblestone, ow, ow. and another chest in this chest. <laughs> That's the most random the chest. Oh man, look at all this. Look at all these resources. I'm taking all of these resources. So, yeah, so you, you, your hammer's pretty fast, yeah? Sure. So come and come and have a look at this fella. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna get there. Don't worry. <laughs> um, <gasps> Diamonds! Damn it! You got him. Is that a three by three cube? Yep. Look at all the stuff he left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Your inventory uh, was full. The diamonds are mine. <laughs> um, I accidentally made it rain oil. <laughs> and it's fine. I, I haven't got any torches. What's your? Can I see your drill? Flux bore, mines blocks three by three. Silk touch efficiency five. Yeah, this thing is absurd. Yep. 
All right, it's back. What? What is oil? Uh, it's another thing you can use for fuel. Uh, I haven't put. On, I just haven't put braking on it because it's effort. <laughs> it's effort, he says. <laughs> uh. I, I mean, I can. It's not like I've not got the levels for it. That's what I was thinking. It's like there's lift. Uh, all right, just picking up some more resources. Yeah, you're so rich, you know. I know. I need lead. Lead's what I need at the minute. Lead's hard to find. Yeah. This was a base tour. You're right. Back to the base. All and, right. And you'll note, you will note, there are torches out here. Uh, sure. Hey, on a crafting table. Well, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> work anymore. How do you uncraft things? Why doesn't it work anymore? Because someone disabled it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally what it, 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 it says. It's like put something that you've crafted and then put it in the uncrafting table and you can get those back out. You can get all your items yeah. back out. But yeah, it's Yeah, disabled. which is useful when you accidentally make, say, 200 buckets or <laughs> a stack of servos. All right, what else have we got? Uh, so the other thing oh. I've got going here as well that might interest Surge is um, a cobble works. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. I made one of these things. Right, we, we have infinite production of uh, sandstone and ice right now, James. I'm so proud of me. Nice. So this, is producing, so this is producing cobble. Okay. This takes cobble and pulverizes it into gravel and maybe some sand. Okay. This one takes gravel and pulverizes it down into sand and maybe some flint. Okay. This one will cook sand into glass. And this will cook cobble into stone. And then it goes into the into storage the drawers. Storage drawers. So you can see I have 30,000 stone, 32,000 cobble, uh, 13,000 glass. Yeah. And an amount of sand. Yeah, that's sweet. And oh. then the external storage bus is meaning so it stores them in there. Nice. And then down here. And then your... the bottom floor is power and cacti. What does the apiaries do? Um, it makes the cactus grow faster. Oh, neat. So not only is it on snad. But the apiaries are going as well. So, wait, there are. So you're going so, sawmill into magma crucible, into fractioning still. Surge, is this what you made yesterday? Uh, that was the goal of what I was making yesterday. Yeah. So it's not uh, done yet. Not. No, uh, the second part, the part's going to go underground is you see this whole water system with the um, uh, uh, the dynamo thingies and yeah. all that? that's, so that's going to go the, underneath? Yeah, and rather than having water tubes go into it, it's it's going to be um, uh, surrounded by water under glass. Nice. Because aesthetics. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But I'm, I'm producing steam with my dynamos now rather than producing power. Right. Uh, so these dynamos on the top take steam yeah, and produce power with them. Cool. And then this is a dynamo that produces power from like gems. So you can put like a diamond in there and it'll produce uh, a whole ton of power. Huh. Neat. All right. But e each one of these dynamos can produce up to 240 RF a tick. So... It's more efficient than how much uh, RF per tick power gets in. Yeah. Uh, and I've got how many? One, two. Uh, Pulse Evo, fifty-four months. It's been a while since I caught mine o'clock. Hey yo, or hoy. And uh, so Jarlax, I've got ten. 62. I've got ten of these steam dynamos. Yeah. So twenty-four hundred. Yep. Nice. And there's, as I say, there's, there's some lava backup of it as well, so. Neat. All right, and that is Uno's base. Right, because we're at bedrock. 
literally yep. can't go any lower. And then presumably you'll build up. Yes. So I am yet to put like a design on the walls. So like for everything that was below ground, I've done this sort of Celtic with the pillars and the layers. Yeah. Design uh, pattern for the wall. And I, I haven't done anything for the above ground floors because it's also external. Whee! Cool. All right. Now where? Uh, sure, Seraphina. Have I actually ever been to your? I don't think I've ever been to your play, your base. I haven't. Hey, why don't we? Why don't we take this as an opportunity to also show off the uh, the Nether Hub? Yep. Sure. And then you oh, can the unlock all the you can unlock all the waste stones while you're at it. All right, to the Nether. To the Nether. So who built the Nether Hub? Arclight Dynamo, uh, as far as I can tell, single-handedly made the Nether Hub, like all of it. Pretty much, yeah. So the only issue is, wait, did I just throw my sword on the ground? I did. The only issue is when we enter from a random direction, I don't know which way we're supposed right. to go. So, that's, so I guess I'm we go we go right into the, the central area, so and then we'll have so to get some stuff. Joe. There. Okay, so this is, is this the central area? Yeah. 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 You might want to bit the nether hub waypoint uh, waystone. It seems to reset itself. Uh, every time they move it, yeah. Um, nether hub, okay. So Seraphina is this way. Uh, one of the things I love about this is uh, the use of invisible glass for the walls and on the ceiling. Oh yeah. So that you can you can move super super fast and not have to worry about getting caught on pillars. Hold on, I think we passed it. Yep, this is this one. Yeah, Seraphina's here, James. Uh, server lag. <laughs> Didn't like that. So I also like having the elevator in each of the uh, rooms. Yeah, that lets you, you get. get yeah, that lets you actually get into the Nether. And it's like a nice little pedestal. Yeah. Dais or something. Yeah, that was a really good so, idea. So the story of Seraphina's base is she's like, this village, this is a nice village. This is my village now. Um, and it's kind of hanging out here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but then she moved off towards the north here. And this is where things get a little bit wacky. Hold on. Oh, there's another, there's another human here. It appears that Seraphina is also here. Want to see okay, so box does. has a box. All right, which box? Over here. Okay. okay. If this is villagers, I'm going to be very impressed. What? Uh, I... Are those Endermen blinking in and out of existence? No, those are uh, wither skeletons. Wither skeletons. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, um, interesting. I, I guess I, yeah. Hold That's on so many of them. <laughs> and Surge, they really don't like you. That's fine. Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh my God. At least you can get your cleaver uh, going some good use. Seraphina has given me a sword called the Slicer. Pardon me, please. Hi. Pew pew. Um. What do I? What do I do? How do I? How do I test it? Uh, turn turn the mob farm back on, I guess. Now just start hitting him. Good lord. How do? How do you get a spawner for Wither Skellies? You just the same way that I've got a spawner for Magma Slimes. Yeah, it's just a morph, right? And Enderman. Oh. 
there's a mod called Soul Shard uh, Respawned, and you use a special... Oh, soul Shards, okay. Yeah, and you use a special sword and a special uh, rock to collect mob spawn, uh, mob souls. Hold on, hold on. I have 30 wither skeleton skulls right now. <laughs> 30. I, I'm upset. Do you have any idea how long it takes us to collect these in vanilla? <laughs> uh, yeah, horrible three. That'll do it. All right. Yeah. Joe. Joe, I just got 35 Wither Skeleton Skulls in 15 seconds. Modded is dumb. <laughs> Joe, no! Joe just said her job has been replaced. <laughs> Seraphina, how dare you? It's, it's, it's not been automated yet. Only on this server. Not on the other server. Okay, I'm gonna go, oh, I love this farm. Joe oh. says, uh, Seraphina says she's sorry, Joe. Seraphina, this farm is so good. What the heck Joseph is this? The Baker. Yeah, the, the aqueducts are so cool, eh? I've never seen this before. Uh, apparently this is some hardcore chisel and bits here. You could actually yeah. chisel water to be smaller. Yeah, cool you can chisel that? any liquid. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, so like, purpose-wise, this is not doing anything, is it? Like the actual, like, fountains. That's just aesthetic. Or you can it? drown in chiseling bits of water, though. Prove it. None of the water does anything? Yeah, that's what I thought. Can I... Like, I can drown in this. <clears throat> no, but even this little stream, you can drown it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, I have little bubbles. Wait, yeah, the bubbles are going down. I'm drowning. Good, good, good. This is super cool, though. I, like, I super dig this farm. Okay, uh, there's one other very, very, Whoa. very large build here. Yeah, I hear you just saw it. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this has been updated. Oh, okay. Look at all these super rad little... F what are these little... F campfire? Oh my goodness, the campfire on the oh, pyramid? I love it. flies. Where is the campfire? Uh, come up top where I am, James. Oh. Oh, that's, and that's basically what the, uh, I mean, not quite, but that's kind of what, um, the campfires in Minecraft for vanilla are going to look like. Uh, that That's actually from a mod called Minecraft Future, which is adding future blocks to Minecraft. That's cool. Um, these little pyramids are giving me some ideas, because I want to make a bunch of, like, amonkhet esque looking obelisks and stuff, and I might be able, ah, I don't know if I want to do that, or, or maybe use the... Like so these walk. are these are the framed out corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if I want to do actual actual pokey right. obelisks. Got or not. Oh. So. There's good... oh there's rooms on the floors now. Very good, cool. Good place for a magma torch. So you come in here, and we've got another cactus farm. See, this is why I liked lava because it was everybody was doing this, and I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna manually drain the Nether. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be different? Yeah. yeah Alright, that's that's fair. We can be different, James. I, I won't judge. No, this and is way better. He's okay. using SNAD, which I'm very grateful. Everybody seems to be yeah, using Yeah, SNAD's, SNAD's the, the way to go. Oh, I Ooh. like this. This space is great, Serafina. Yeah, this is really cool. This looks really cool. Come upstairs Ooh. to the actual production. So come up two layers here. Ah. Ah. Alright, ah, Serge, yeah. build this. Ah. Uh, done. I built this. <laughs> Welcome to, <laughs> Welcome to Welcome my base to my now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to build this. This is absurd. So this is this is kind of the thing that I'm doing on my foot. Yeah, I was gonna say this looked my... kind of like what you were doing, so. Yeah. Cool. And complicated. Yeah, and here's the his grassoline, I guess. Yeah, grassoline. So And I'm still not producing enough cactus. So does it yeah, require that's why I added the phytogenics? Does it require both the tree and the cactus for this? 
Like, is that... Are they combining together? Is that how this works? Ah, uh, okay. I'm also oh, good, James. Seed. You have your little rainbow jetpack on. Good, good, good. Yeah, I found it. In the She's also there. making seed oil. Oh, this is a really cool... Oh, okay, I found something in here. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, she says, come over here. One sec. Uh, hold on. Where do you want it, Serafina? What's up? Oh, Phytogenic. this is... This is the melon. So you're making Flux Phyto Grow into melons. Taking the melons, ah, melons into, into seeds. Slice. Melon seeds. Ah. <laughs> I'm producing enough seeds to drown the world. Oh, good. Wow. I, ha I haven't yet gone overboard with melon. This looks really good. It's only a matter of time. 54 million. Good lord, that's a lot. Wait, what's 54 million, James? In this um, energy cell, there's 54 million redstone flux. It's a lot of redstone. Why do you need that much? That much? I don't know. Power. Yeah, Why wouldn't you? Because to run Wait, all the there's machines. A, there's so a portal room too. This is okay. So you've got a bunch of. Okay, so this is kind of your your thermal expansion area. Ooh, an arcane ensorcellator. I got the names on these things just bug the heck out of me. <laughs> so that that lets you make books, uh, Wait, enchantment your... books. Oh, and this is yeah, just the... your storage system. The oh. number one problem I have with modded is the absolute gibberish names attached to most things here. Yeah. Igneous extruder. Like no well, that makes water sense. box. Just call it a water box. I don't know. I mean, it, it's a lava extruder that makes rocks. Igneous rocks are a thing. Lava box. I don't know. Book box. <laughs> like. <laughs> that is a lot of wither skulls in there. Rock box. Yeah. I mean, you've got compactor that compacts things. Time to move on to refined storage, Serafina. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, and then Ooh. down here, this is. Okay, that's uh, this is your way to the twilight. Twilight forest. Twilight ah. forest. Fl florist. And then over here, nothing. And oh, but here. she's gonna be extending that room for trophies. Yeah, that's scans. And then over here. Oh, look at this. Ah, the mines. Ooh. Hmm. Nice. Oh, mine shaft. No, this base is sweet. Here. Yeah, this is very, 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 very cool. Well I done, super, Serafina. Holy I moly. super dig the yeah the the reverse pyramid. Hold on, what the? What are you? Ah, dwarf rabbit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. So now that we're here. Oh yeah, boop the boop the stone. I did boop the stone. Where should we go next? Uh, d d d d d. Well, let's head let's head back into the Nether Hub and just follow the the walls that way and see who's closest, right? Because right. we're down. This is the first right down a hallway. Thank you for showing us around. Yeah. So we were down yellow. yellow? Yeah. So Max is down here and Suffix is Wait, down Wait, was there here. another nether portal? Did I go the wrong way? Uh, if you just go, we went through the waypoint. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you could waypoint to the nether. Yeah, because there's a, a hub in the, and there's a waypoint, waystone in the yeah. nether. Yeah, so yeah, come back down this hallway and we'll keep going this way. Where are you? I uh, I'm at Serafina's base, so I'm I'm due south from you. You can see me on the mini map. Yeah, oh, yeah there you are. Oh. Alright, whose base is this? Uh probably Max. This is the end portal. That's not helpful. Yeah. Max is after that, I think. Yeah, yeah okay. That's so the Max has actually decorated his hallway too. Ooh. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, this is awesome. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, they will. Yep. Oh, this looks really good. Look at this portal room. Oh, the portal's cool. Factory block. Gold framed purple plate. Yeah. Why All doesn't right. Why doesn't your portal room look like this, Serge? 
I look, I only have so much time, and the amount of time. <laughs> And it takes me eight times longer to make one modded block than any other person. I'm doing very good <laughs> stuff. Okay, so one thing before you go too far. Uh, as soon as you step through the portal, there's an elevator here. Go up, and that's where the waystone is located. So, there you go. Unlock the waystone. And now head down. Oh, my God. Uh, I love this this chandelier. Looks so good. What? What? Iron candle? Iron chandelier ring. Holy moly, that looks rad. Yeah, with the candles is cool. Okay, and now I hope you're ready because this place is ridiculous. I haven't seen it in a while. Wait, hold on. Go down. Wait, is there another level up above it? Yeah, there's... There's a lot. We're underground right now. What the... What the shit? What the hell? Oh, yeah. No, Max's base is ridiculous Max? like absolutely ridiculous what the shit now be careful everything here will kill you is this a dark souls level yes <laughs> i mean that's that's kind of it so something i discovered okay there's max right there uh something i've discovered while flying about is all of the liquids are liquid metals and will murder you this is absurd hold on what is what is this whole section of what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come over to where I am for a second here. I'm on the lower level. Yeah. There's a whole chocolate river waterfall section, and a, there's an underground forest. There's an entire underground forest and chocolate. I... What the... I don't think that's chocolate. For what, what? it's is worth. That, is that liquid dirt? I think it's liquid dirt. It looks so good. Ah, I fell in it! Why'd you push me in it? I didn't push you in it. Okay, I didn't die immediately. Alewort. Hey, what? This Hold is... on, and there's a glass floor underneath it? Hey, look! Green cave- wait, where does this go? Oh, not the- nowhere. That- this is absurd! Oh, and cicadas... Ugh. Noise! Max, what the hell, man? This is ridiculous. This is really cool. <laughs> oh, I found a chest. <laughs> With some carrots and tallow, okay. Oh, so, hold on a second. Isn't, isn't this liquid super dangerous too? Is this like liquid ender, and I'm going to die if I touch it? Uh, you won't die in liquid in in resonant ender. Just jump in it. Mm, you fun. jump in it. Okay, yeah, jump in it. Do oh, it. it's the one that teleports you. Right, right, yep. right. I remember. Now. It's the one I filled James's bedroom with. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what that was. Oh no! No, bat! Why? A bat flew into lava, and now it's just flying around about to die. Oh, goodbye, bat. <laughs> goodbye. This this is absurd. Yeah, this part is dangerous. This is where all the liquid dirt is. Uh, watch out for the mushrooms. And the mushroom area is where all the danger is. What? This is so cool. Bats are about as smart as the rabbits. I find rabbits running into cactus so Every much. little corner I look into, there's a ridiculous... Like, look at this. Look over to um, where Uno and I are. The wall just has a giant gaping water feature that just... Ah! Water is... Oh, wow. An exaggeration, but... It's like a the oh, sewer God, it's system. Hot. Yeah, that's so cool. How did you catch fire, Uno? Twilight what? Forest. I think this is liquid dirt. Wait, why am I so fast? What am I walking on? Weathered brownstone? Why am I suddenly turbo when I walk on these blocks? Um, it's a... It's... Brownstone is a Tinker's Construct block, and you can use it to make roads that you, uh. that you walk faster on. Have you seen the farm over here? Uh, where are you? Over here. Okay. Oh! <laughs> what? Gah! Wow. Uh, <laughs> this is... Max has been busy. And there's an old abandoned sh yeah, mine shaft here. This upsets me. <laughs> I look at stuff like this and I'm just like... I have I have so much work to do. <laughs> you need to stream more. Apparently, apparently. So, where's all the like where's Max's just like storage? Like where where does he keep all of his oh, stuff? 
let's follow Max. Max is down here, and let's see if Max can lead us where we're going. Where is Max? We're flying oh, to the center is. pillar I with all the. Him. Okay. Mostly up here. Oh, okay. So oh, here's... right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Ah, so you okay. Come the central, the central <laughs> tower here's, in the middle. Here's a room with actual things. I got it. Yo, look up chandeliers. Uh, stack if you put them oh, together. They, yeah, they connect. They that's combine. Cool. Oh, that's super cool. There's definitely a lot of empty rooms right now. Yeah, that's fair. Huh. Magma crucible, glacial precipitator, flipposer. Wow. <laughs> well done. Well done, my dude, Max. This is wild. Hold on, hold on. What is this green thing? Is this a portal? Or is this just aesthetic? It's aesthetic. Uh, the green thing up here? Yeah, James, look up Look up where I am. That totally looks like a portal. No, that's just a green cave crystal. Green cave yeah. crystal, yeah. So, oh, job God, well done. It's so supposed cool. to look like a portal. <laughs> here is this portal over here. This is what it's kind of. Uh, oh, yeah, that one's a portal. Where does that take us? It doesn't take you anywhere. Um, you throw items through it, and the elves will and give the you elves. the elves will give you things back. What if we throw Uno through it? It doesn't work like that. All but right, like, have a bone, magic elves. Yeah, they won't give you anything for that. What? They're just like, thanks for the bone. Yeah, same Stingy. as like, here's a cactus. Stingy. And it's just like, thanks for the cactus. No, there's certain things that you throw through there that they will throw other things back uh, out the other side. If you have like ender pearls on you. Hold on, hold on. This is the garbage dimension. I can I can just throw my trash this way. <laughs> <laughs> cactus, here's some dirt. Oh, perfect. Yeah, good, good, cool. good. And the so site, yeah. So now you're <laughs> you're littering into another dimension. That Good doesn't job. sound like my problem. DG Zenos, 47 months. This is way more complicated than when I played 10 years ago. Yeah. Nope. And that goes an open crate. Whoops. Mercurial Vox, 29 months. <laughs> what in the fresh Samwise hell did I walk into? This looks like it came from inside the mind of a madman. Yeah, well, Max is a madman. This is really cool, Max. Like, this is unbelievably impressive. Also, like... The amount of space that you excavated for this to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This right? was yeah. this like, was solid ground, and Max just, just excavated straight down. Right. Like this isn't like this was a naturally born cave. <laughs> this was probably a little solid. Rock. Oh, is this? Oh, and this is power over here. I think this looks like his power generation. And there's another one up here too. Good lord, man. Oh, trees. Yeah, this is really cool. I... The interesting thing is the tree power actually matches the aesthetic down here, too. This interesting sort of, like, gothic, steampunk, like, root thing. Uh, the use of vines everywhere. Uh, the trees. It's it's very interesting. Uh, like, the organic power scans down here. You know what I mean? He has so much. These are resonant energy cells that are all full. This is oh. 600 million... <laughs> Redstone flux down here. That's so much. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of power. That's so much power. Oh, yo, like check out this aesthetic thing right here. So James, follow me around the building to the outside. Mm -hmm. Like that, that the, the aqueous accumulators are just in the water with the pipes coming out. Yeah. It's the aesthetic here, right? Like yeah. that just works. I definitely have a tendency to make four of a thing whenever I need one. Well, that's because Max is a developer. <laughs> <That's> like that. <fair. laughs> that sounds very much like a dev problem, right? <laughs> do you do you still have the bats going, Max? Whoa! This is. Oh wow! This is. This is enormous. Whoa! Where are you now? His tinker's construct. His smelter is. Absurd. I'm over here, down here. Oh. Uh, is it full of things right now? So there's he there's this one, which is the which is this, and then this is also a tank right here. Oh. It's just got uh, the glass. This is a seared tank, this is the smelter. I like the lever, make block, make lever. <laughs> 
Make kingas. Let's see. Good lord. Okay. Okay. All right. We 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 need to keep moving. Cause check out too. But this is so cool. Yep. Hey, Shark Fist with a 63 month resub says hi. That seems very suspicious. All right. How the hell? How the heck did we get out of here? Yeah. I'm just I going think, up. So I think it's I think it's this one. Oh, this no. is the kitchen. The kitchen looks sweet too. Is it this one? No. Find the purple tower. Oh, they're color coordinated. Uh, Wait, is the tower purple here. or the, the the tower with purple highlights? Because I'm on a tower with some purple. Wait, Wait, so Wait. this is the oh, and then up. That's gray. Uh, That's red. So this is kind of a pinky purple. There's another purple tower on that side. Yeah. See, last time I was at Max's base, it was up here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It was a bunch of stuff in the swamp above ground. I remember this. Why are there still so many vacuumulators with ender chests up here? Hold on a second. Look at this rainbow oak. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. We're taking the slimes out of the arboretum and we're putting these in instead. I love <laughs> this tree. I love this tree. Yeah, this tree's sweet. Oh, they Ooh. collect iron berries. Oh, right. Oh. Olive trees, right? I could probably put some accumulators in the arboretum as well. All right, uh, let's head. Uh, is there another portal up here? Do we have to head back underground? Let's head back underground. Uh, yeah, head back, head back underground, underground to the way waystone. Uh, no, go to the nether portal instead of the waystone. Oh yeah, that's fair. And then we can go to Suffix. Uh, Suffix's base is right there. Now remember, when we're in Suffix's base, we have to communicate the way Suffix communicates, which is in all caps. Okay. Oh, I missed the clear glass already. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. Guess we'll, I guess we're just walking. God, like a savage. I guess in the ceiling you could. Yeah. It, it would wreck some of the vines and leaves. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh my. I. God, I hate you so much, Suffix. <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh. Wait, what is? Why does it keep going? Oh, I hate you, Suffix. Why is it all die right? <laughs> to annoy you, obviously. All right, let's go to the base. Oh! Ooh. Wait. Chiseled die right? I... Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, he's built up on a slime island. And he's made it entirely out of die right. <laughs> Get that waypoint. Oh, suffix this. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, the chisel diorite actually looks kinda cool. It, it looks like very crack. Right. Oh. Uh, don't forget to hit the waystone on the way past. <laughs> this is not a very practical kitchen. <laughs> Moving in would have been a real pain in the ass. Okay, so then we keep going down. Oh, I haven't seen the spirals! Oh, that's very cool. Keep going down. Oh, I don't hate this, and I hate that I don't hate this. Okay, <laughs> this is his. He's got fluid okay. storage. He's got a lot of compacting drawers. Lots of wait. Like, how's he making power? Why don't I hate this more than I do? What is this? I think Hold on. Can you just swim all the way up? Oh, that's really cool. Where? What do you mean? Oh, down. Go down a level here. Go down a level, James. Oh, it's it's stuck in glass. Oh, you it's can't in glass. You that. can't. Yeah, yeah. You have to teleport down. Okay. No, you can go. You can go down. Don't teleport down the green one. That's a problem. Wait. What's, what's the green one do? It takes you to the mines. There's five different teleporters that lead to different places. They're color-coded. So go down the black teleporter. Ah, and... okay. So this takes you to his... Good lord. His... Okay. So there... Yeah, so these are all black. his crafters here. And he has a bunch hooked up to pulverizers. So you can say, like, if you need... Um, yeah, this is great. This is definitely what so we need So if you do. need, like, charcoal, you can cook some charcoal. Wow, he has been busy. Good lord. This is impressive. Looks like he's doing the same Phyto-Grow thing. Uh, so he's he's doing tree oil. Ah, okay. uh, But also he's doing cactus as well, by the looks of it. Ah, oh, you okay, can go down so another level. Here, is, ah. there, are the, there are the trees. 
and his mines, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're down at, like, 11 here. Oh, yeah, well, we are. Wait. Up and this to... is 143. I... Jeez, How does I the didn't... teleporter go that far? I didn't think, I didn't think they think went teleport... that far. Yeah, it goes all the way from this level all the way down. Uh, the, the one thing, I think the one critique I would have of Suffix's base is the fact that there are multiple different elevators that go to random places. Well, I mean, he knows where they are. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. You, you, you figure out how they work pretty quickly. I hate that I don't hate that this is diorite. I am so confused as to... Whoa. Where did I just go? I'm into... It... Where does oh, the line oh, go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, What's this, up? Is, this is cool. So if I hit the switch... Wait. Yeah, that's going to turn off all the lights. Uh, you got oh, soul cages in here, creature encapsulator. So there's a I can't tell what the soul cages are. I think they're empty. I think they might all be empty actually. Hold on a second. Why is there a repeater stuck on the wall? What? Oh, oh the soul welcome to Redstone Paste. Uh, oh no, this is Charset. Sorry. Yeah, you can you can put repeaters on the walls. That's actually really cool. Okay, so yeah, maybe these don't actually, the soul cages don't, have been prepared for something that's not quite there yet, though. Uh, what's this box, what's this door for that I can't open? It's an iron door? It's an it's iron door, door that I can't open, that I can't see how you get into it. <laughs> Bye, Serafina. Maybe that's the um, AFK room? I don't know. Could be. Where did he even get all this diorite? This upsets me. You right. see? Yeah. I kind of want to go... I want to get back outside and see this from a bit of a distance here. Okay. You find the child set things are a bit crashy. I've uh, not had a problem with it. The timers are pretty good. All right, so this is... Yeah, you get a good view from the portal up here, which is kind of cool. This looks really cool. Yeah, it really does. Oh, we started putting some slants in as well here. Yeah. Underneath the bridge. And also, it looks like like some of these, this slime island that the portal's on and the one that his base is on are not generated, I don't think. Those are man-made. Yeah. This looks really cool, though. The fact that it's high enough up to get snow on it as well is a very pretty touch. Yeah. Okay, back into the portal. Wait, two of the islands are generated. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, I think the I think the two that the main castle on are are real, and then the portal one is fake. Ah, okay. I appreciate that this area is just plain diorite, because good lord. <laughs> uh, anonymous cheerer with a hundred bits. Thank you for the bits. Okay, who should we check out now? You go uh, we've got the... Anime Kitty to the left here. Did you go? Yeah, you went down here. Yeah, so let's go. It's only Anime Kitty down here? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Whee! Too far! Ow. Alright. Deadly Partition, brand new sub. Welcome. All right, out. Wait, coming. Yo, Zach. We should probably not come in here at night. Whoa, Serge, why is every base better than our base? I. <laughs> well, except for Uno's. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> This looks incredible, yeah. though. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, man. This looks so good. All right. I anime have Kitty many floors. Like right on, Anime Kitty. Okay, so this is just... Oh, yeah. Remember, you have to take your shoes off when you enter. It's very disrespectful not to. Okay. Brown elevator up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nerd myself probably with 
No, no, it's not, it's not high enough for that. Paper wall. This looks cool, though. I like this. The paper wall is what we make the windmills out of. Yeah. On pyramid. Oh, there's so much room for activities. <laughs> there's a oh, lot of room for expansion here. Yeah. Like, Anime Kitty is basically only using the first floor right now. This way. way to the garden? Oh, garden. this looks nice. Right. Remember to put your shoes back on when you get outside. <clears throat> right. So you don't rock it and then die from fall damage. Yeah. This is this is very cool. This well done, cool. Anime Nice Kitty. little tiered garden. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Pumpkin. Very nice. Was there anything? Even the water's was there a the... downstairs? Feel like yeah, is probably... there water here? Or is it just the super already fertile dirt, and then the and the wood is just uh, aesthetic? Another elevator. No, there's here. water ah. under there. Yeah. See it underneath. So basically, as you can see, everybody is kind of going the same direction with power. Plant trees, get their yeah. sap, that get their resin, turn it into power. Which is fair. It's a very like sustainable way to create power, and it's what we should probably do at our base. No, we're, that's why we're going with cacti instead of the tree stuff. I don't know. I just don't like the tree aesthetic in the desert. I don't think it scans for what we're trying to do. That's fair. Yeah, so you got... So the difference here with the Russian Dynamo is that they're using uh, Jello Cryothium, which is a better coolant. Right. Did you get the Waystone when you are here? No, I have yet. Not yet, actually. Okay, come over to where I am. This is where the Waystone is. Anime Kitty, this place is super cool. Where the heck was the way? Ah, oh, there it is. There's the waystone. Yeah, find, find me on your mini map. Oh. Uh, Get the wall. Anime Kitty, is this supposed to be like this? This seems like the only place where you have some walls poking out here. Oh. Just as an FYI. It's like a paper wall panel or something. I, weird. Okay, I had anime kitty, so. Word. I just want well, to see fantastic. The top of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, get the view from a bed. Oh, she's going to be adding partitions. Oh, right. Ah, cool. neat. Cool. This looks super cool. All right, now where? Uh, let's go back into the nether hub now um, as our central park. Ow. Deadly partition, Three. brand oh, new oh, sub. Welcome to the hub. channel. Wait, how do I... Why can't I not go to the, um, the... I can't access the nether hub through here. Have you got enough XP? Oh, no, I'm I'm dumb. I didn't know there was a second page. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, Joe Uno World Spite. So the people we haven't visited yet are Arclight, Dix. Uh, we haven't seen Foxmar yet. We haven't seen... Um, uh, Tex, either Lonely Tex. Is, wait, so which hallway? Uh, let's go this way. Let's go down this hallway. What's Fort so Noob? Fox, Fort Noob is where, so a lot of people have never really played Minecraft before. So Anime Kitty, Raven, um, um, Lonely Tex, a bunch of people all started together. Hold on, Fox Bar Base, Fox Bar Pyramid. What the? All right, let's go to the base here. Yeah, I think we go to yeah. the base. You can get to the pyramid from base. Uh, so, anyways, uh, they hadn't played before, so they all joined. Uh, ah, they all they made like a forces. collective base together. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And that was Fort Noob. So, so this is Fox Wars base. Yeah, I've definitely seen. I think of. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Which point is here? I've definitely. Yeah, I've seen. I've I've been to Fox Wars base a few times, so I've actually uh, seen it a, a number of times. It looks like he's very much in the process of moving out of here, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, because this is Oops. looking a little bare than it was last time I was here. I love the aesthetic here of the iron lattices, and I think it's because of the biome that he's in. They look dry and withered on the lattices instead of being like green and vibrant. Which yeah, is super it's, cool. it's nice being out in the mesa. Everybody this needs is a yeah, clock. mesa biome. Oh, that clock is so good. Yeah, the clock is really good. Have you have you seen this clock, Serge? Hold on. That's a chisel option. Out of this! 18 months. What? Did you know that 18 is a 2005 Canadian drama written and directed by Richard Bell? 
No. What what time is it set to? Oh, that's so cool. Grapes. That's a good clock. Mm, grapes. So hovering hourglass. Oh, that's. that's I think some... we probably just want to go over to the pyramid. Yeah. Because bam. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, the the giant. There's a castle in front of it now too. That's new. There's. Look at this. Oh, the por the portal's new. This is a really cool portal. What is this little building? I love it. Oh my god. So what's in here? Well, nothing yet, but. Oh, you can get into the top as well. Okay. Okay. This looks really cool. That's, that's neat. And then, yeah, this pyramid looks cooler than the last time I was here. Is there a basement? I checked. There's no basement. Uh, no. Is there anything underneath these stairs? Not that you can see here. Hold on. Has this always been marble? Or... No, this is... I no, mean... no, no, no. I, I think he swapped out every block. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think it was marble originally. What's at the top? It was always yeah, marble. Yeah, I don't think, oh, I don't okay. think it was marble to start with. No, Foxworth said it's always been marble. Oh, is okay. Right. The problem here is our memory. Cool. All right, let's head inside. Whoa, this is ridiculous. It's so good inside. Ooh, very uniform trees. I like it. Ooh, I like your little... Uh... This Bugler? is cool. The lattice here? Oh my god. Yeah. Well, that's actually a really neat idea. So then, if you go out here, uh, terrifying. Oh, this is the, oh my god, I've killed. I love the Urgas trophy. This is my favorite trophy. That's a cool trophy. The best, uh, the best Twilight Forest boss is, of course, the creepy doll. Yeah. <laughs> this, this one, though, is just so creepy. Ah, it's so loud. Yeah, I turned my friendly mob noises way down because they're so loud. It's kind of a note tilting me that this isn't in the center. <laughs> it's a two by two <laughs> space. It'll never be in the center, James. <laughs> there, there's a squirrel! Oh my goodness, there's a squirrel and there's a deer named James. Uh, well, look uh, what the squirrel's called. Oh my god, I just chased the squirrel for 30 seconds and found out it's named Surge. <laughs> <laughs> And then, okay, so this is like, oh, no. here's the actual, like, all the tech stuff. Running along this wall. You have so many tools. So many tools. You got some and shulker boxes. Out on display and Man, some good old-fashioned shulkers. You don't see shulker boxes very often in modded Minecraft. You can, t you can make um, iron chests, do some mods for shulker boxes as well. So you can make a crystal shulker box. All right, so that's all that. Uh, Scrabble uh, or Scarble. You can you can get like gold inlays on them and stuff like that. You got a very nice looking um, smeltery here. The potion shelves and the brewing barrels look really cool, and I think I might have to just make some of those just for the aesthetics. Yeah, they look great. Okay, so that's this. Is there a basement to this? I feel like there's got to be more, because there's got to be power gen somewhere. Yes, there is some basements. Oh, yeah. So down here is... Oh, some more Batania stuff. So it's not here. There are three basements. Ooh, that is a fabulous mana pool. Ah, okay. There's a basement right here. Uh, this is mob farm. Uh, is it in the middle? They appear to be on the outside. Where's the third basement? Wait, why okay, is there yeah, a magic spawners. pickaxe here? What the? I just picked up an iron pickaxe with magnetic three. I'm confused. 
put that back where it was. That may have been dropped. Uh, you would probably want that in a... Do you want that in a chest? No, this goes up. It was Serge who stole my tools. What? I didn't take any tools. How dare you? <laughs> Foxma, I'm putting it in your red shulker box. Where is the... Oh, here's one right here. Oh, this is your enchanting area. Okay. Where the heck is all your power gen? That's this this bookshelf is very close. Outside so you to... and under the pyramid. Yeah. How do you get to it? Look for trees. Outside and under the pyramid. Ah, over here. Oh, I'm not under under the pyramid. Just yeah, okay. This All is right. cool. I like that it sort of like melds in with everything. Like you don't even really notice these. And then presumably there's. Do you have access to all the pipes and machinery for this, or it's unpiped in? Ah, uh, okay. Cool. All right. Moving on. The Back machines were inside. Up. Yeah, that's fair. All right. We go down the hallway, we're still going. Next up, we have Fort Noob. Right. Now, I don't actually know if anybody's still at Fort Noob. Um, yeah, we'll be we'll be going to Arc Lights. Don't worry, we got time. Fort All right. Noob. And actually, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pop to the washroom real quick. Be right back. Okay. Kitty's house when visiting. So we know Anime Kitty has moved on. We know Arclight has moved on. So is there nobody left at Fort Noob? Is this is this uh, abandoned? Uh, New no. Day Tuesday is um, left alive. Uh, let me dig this out. I have pinned the message of this. Tex has moved east. Yeah, so it, it would appear that everybody... Uh, that Fort Noob has been abandoned. Uh, but there's definitely some stuff going on over there. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, one second, everybody. Just a sec here. I just need to do something real quick here. Very fantasy sign. All right, I'm just getting the game. Uh, this is this has been interesting. Just need to get the game ready for uh, New Day Tuesday. I uh, just figured that I'd look into Minecraft, of... and there's both the Windows 10 and Java version. So, uh, the Windows 10 version is the updated, sort of newer supported version. Um, and then the Java version is the one that we play because it allows for mods and stuff like that. Um, honestly, if you're starting out, I would get the Windows 10 version at this point. Uh, unless you have every intention of playing mods down the line. All right, so that's gonna go. I mean, they keep saying they're gonna do a Windows 10 and 
Nothing's really materialized. Yeah, Windows 10 is bedrock, which is basically the version that exists on everything. So there's cross-platform play and stuff like that, which is nice. All right, so Fort New was empty, uh, but this is Raven's house. Got some stuff going on here. So this is what we saw uh, from Fort New. They got some trees going on here. That's nice. And all right, we got our way in here. We've got a nice kitchen. And everybody's making use of the elevators, which is great because elevators are a lot of fun. Oh, there's the, oh, oh, all right. So here is the trees. Here is the path. Oh, this is a lot of flight. I like this. I just like how they have just like a storage, like just portable tanks of a bunch of different oils and, and uh, liquids and stuff like that. That's super cool. Oh, the kitchen the kitchen's nice. And then if I come down here, this is the yeah, this is the entrance into the actual tree area. So that's cool. So where does so if I come back in here? Okay. So there's, so there's a red elevator as well. Yeah. This looks like it's, actually... that looks like it's the way to the mines. They've got the smelter going on there, which is great. So the white elevator. Takes me up into here, but it's some storage. Oh, down here there's like a load of power and... I have returned. Where you at? Oh, right. Okay, this is it. Yeah. Nice. We're at Raven's base. Raven! I've never checked months? out Raven's base. Yo! Welcome! A uh, couple times I checked in, Raven was like, I'm not quite ready. Yeah, that's fair. I'll respect that. They got, I've never some, been they got some stuff going on. It's looking good. Whoa! Whoa! Cool. So then, getting a view from the outside here, kind of going with the the Uno aesthetic with the big giant pyramid, which is cool. And it looks like, like they're the, just sort uh, of building up floors as they as they go up. Ravenholm? Oh, that's very funny. Ooh, Ravenholm, that's good. <laughs> Chills of the rock Rebel. and a site. Oh, look at the modern art. Oh, that's so cool. What the? Am I in a museum? Where am I? Help. Which floor are you on? I was on the bottom floor. How do, what the? Oh! Ding! Ooh, there's a creepy doll. Ah, I see what's oh. up now. Wait, yeah, what the heck is this? Whoa. I love a creepy doll. Cool. This is very neat. Nice. Uh, and if we wanted to, actually, right near here, we can just fly to um, uh, Lonely Texas base. Whereabouts? Uh, so follow me to the north near Fort Noob. So yeah, it looks like Fort Noob has been abandoned. That happens. So a very interesting thing to know uh, about Lonely Texas base. Oh, you went too far. Uh, head back this way. Uh, is Lonely Tex actually plays with a custom mod pack. Uh, pardon me, a custom visual pack that changes the textures on stuff. Uh, that is deliberately, um, uh, deliberately, wait. Tex has moved east 500 blocks. East. East is this way. Uh, it's a different texture pack set up to make the game uh, 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 more visually straightforward for people who get, um, I, I don't, I, I don't want to misrepresent what's happening there. I think it's if you have um, uh, visual issues and a lot of the textures are too overwhelming, so it's a simplified mod pack and it's really neat. Yeah. I think it's a sen sensory, sensory there we issue. Go. Sensory issues. Yeah. Ah. Whoa. Nice. The old giant Thank castle. You. Whoa, that is a lot of mossy stone bricks. Holy moly. Uh, there's a there's a waste stone right here, James. Oh, Aha. perfect. Boink. Looks better in Texavision. 
Yeah. That's Mailbox? Fair. Oh, cool. There you go. Have 10 diamond ore. Ooh. A diamond ore. Nope. <laughs> Ooh. Got a. Oh. Nice. Ooh. Ow. Walk through, I dare you. Okay. Ah. Damn it. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I like the look of this, uh, of your smelter. Oh, looks like it has a face. This, this is cool. <laughs> Neat. Oh, and he's got, oh, cryo-stabilized flux duck. Holy moly. Oh, that, that stuff can hold a lot of power. Yep. Fat pipes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lonely Tech. Sorry, I was trying to, I was trying to find the best way to phrase it possible and obviously didn't do a great job there. Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a basement. There's also an upstairs. Also, these sea lanterns. Wow. I need you to come up a level, James, and I need you to look up. So, where are you at? I'm up here. L look up. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's, that's trippy. really cool. So, what's here? Oh, this is the outside towards the like the, the patio thing going on. That's sweet. This is a lot of sea lanterns. Sea lanterns and dark prismarine. Holy moly! Yeah, Lonely Text was talking about the frustration of trying to get ink and everything for this build, and it looks super cool. All right, downstairs. Yep, power. And then, good lord, look at this thing. Everybody's using everybody's using elevator. Sorry? I, mean, I should replace everything in my base with Everyone's using what? Elevators. Nobody's using viaducts yet. Oh, I'm definitely gonna use viaducts. Holy moly what are are viaducts. We... It's the tubes that you literally travel through. Oh, okay. It's gonna be super fun when we get those. Oh look at this. Sure. Big, big hole down. Whee! This is just the mines, I assume. Yeah. So it just floats. All right. Nice. All right. Hey, that's very, uh, cool. that's very cool. Narf Blinko, brand new sub. Welcome. Uh, so at right. some point, James, it'd be pretty rad if we could actually get you on the uh, Lonely Text texture pack so you could check out how his stuff looks from there. Yeah. Uh, I showed it one time on stream, and it's very, very interesting. Hmm, that's cool. All right. Now where? Uh, have we been to Arclights yet? No. no. Everybody keeps oh, telling me to go to Arclights, so we should go I there. I just want to make sure we haven't missed anybody, right? Oh man, Shark, or Max, I would feel like Viaducts would look really cool in your base, though. Traveling around there and seeing all that, that... Oh, that's... That really messes with your head. What does? The three lanterns in the in the corner. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah if you look at it just right. Uh, all right. Uh, which way? Uh, out and then take a right. Wait, that says Guardian Farm. Oh, the Guardian Farm is just functional. It's not interesting. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we don't need to go there. So I lied. Not right. I liked that though. That was cool. All right, I gotta go in about ten minutes. I gotta leave a little early today. Serfina, check. I think Arc Light's down to a portal. Solo. Arclight is this way. Oh, we can check out Dix's base, too. Dix has, like, never played Minecraft before and has been having a very interesting time. <laughs> uh, let's go. All right, let's check out Lucien Uno. World Spawn, whatever. I don't think we've done anything interesting. It's... No. No. Uh, this is Arclight. Let's go check out Arclight. I don't think there's much to see at Joe's base, but I could be wrong. No, no, no. No, no there's... There's a hole full of animals that she has collected. She's like, these are mine. I love them all. 
Look up. Whoa. <laughs> uh, uh, well, balls. What the? Ping the waypoint. <laughs> Why? What? Please tell me that there are things that helped Ark like build this. What the? This is enormous. A builder's wand. Uh the least, but... Skyball. So, no, I had to build this block by block. One at a time. <laughs> but, but, what for? Like, what's the goal with this? It exists, and it's rad. Like, is this where your base is gonna be? Or are you gonna, like, put... Oh, whoops. That hurt. Alright. Yeah, I'm good. Is there anything down here? No. No, what we do is we get rockets and elytras, and we have sky duels in here, James. So it looks like Arclight's base is basically just this, but then I mean, that. Yeah, I mean, we have no we have no access to the RF tools build or anything like that, so this Good lord. So, the, so yeah, Arclight, is the idea to... I'm going to fill it halfway with dirt, then build a base in it. Oh. Well, at least b filling it with dirt's going to be easier. You got a nice I like the comment. Of... There's functionality and then there is the orb. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't if you if you're right on the top, you can't see the ground. Good lord. If you get right on the top of it and look down. All hail orb. There is only ball. This is quite the uh So this is why this is how Arclight was able to donate us an entire diamond chest first were uh full of glass, James. Oh right. Good lord. Now chat wants to give the orb teeth. No. <laughs> That's weird. Don't do that. This orb is... This is absurd. I love it. And we're, we're not far off build height here. You can see we're them. we're at 240. Can you, can you see them all the way up there? That's super cool. All right. And then, yeah, as I was saying, base is pretty straightforward. Smelter. A uh, bunch of... Uh, Machines here doing the dirty work. Power source over here. So, yeah, it's gonna look cool when that that's your actual base. So. Ooh, ooh. What if you what if you fill the entire interior uh, with dirt but facing inward? So it's like um, you know in uh, sci-fi when you see a planet that's been wrapped inside of one of those like oh, or, or, or Halo, something like that too, where it's all along the inside. Oh, That'd God. be pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go check out Dex's Dex's base. Sure. Dex. Uh, where's the nether portal? There it is. A ring world, yeah. yeah I mean, Dyson Sphere, would, he'd have to have a, a sun on the inside of it. It's, it's more like hollow earth. But... So go out the portal and take a left. Yeah. All right, got a little farm going on here. Looks like Dix has sort of dug himself in here. Dix is mountain base. Uh-huh, general stuff, stones and ore, plants and food, processed ore. Place ores and stone here. Oh yeah, adorable. It's, it's very much, it's very much a like. To the caves, beware monsters. A starter base and I love it. This is, yeah. Oh. Waypoint. Yeah, I got the waypoint. Like it's been this. a very fun adventure, like, watching Dix discover things in Minecraft. He's just like, how do I plant potatoes? Like, <laughs> I'm like, yay! That's it. <laughs> this is a good place to start. And it's like, well, you have to you have to use a hoe on the dirt. And he's like, oh, right, that thing. I like that there's just staircases in random directions. Everybody loves stairs. Oh, this is just another sort of entrance here. Oh, this is cute. I like this. Right? And you're just like, I'm just gonna build in this direction. Let's see what happens. Uh. Oh, that just went all the way around. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's everybody. It should have been. I feel super bad if we forgot somebody, but I, I don't think we have. Did we forget anybody, chat? 
I don't believe we have... I mean, on the waystones, I mean, obviously we've gotten everybody here. Tex no longer lives here. Dix is base 1.1. Uh, beside Joe, yeah. The Undercity? I like that. That's called the Undercity. World Spawn. I mean, I have World Spawn on here. There's nothing here. There's a Nether Portal. Is there a Waystone at Joe's base? Uh, maybe. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to see if there's a Waystone just so I have them all. Ah, there we go. That's Lava. Uh, where is Joe? Is this Joe? Yeah, this is Joe right here. That's a big, that's a whole lot of that. Got a nice little house here. Very nice. Uh, ah, yeah, there is a waste dump. Boom. Got them all! And now back to Desert Base for Hope. Yeah, Joe's Joe's very good collection of animals. Man, our base looks like crap now. <laughs> I, I, huh. oh, do you want to feel better and go to my base? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I like our base. No, here, our... here, you want you no. want a good angle, James? I'll show you a good angle. Here, I like fly our base over this too. way. Oh, okay, you got it. No, I, I am a big fan of how our base is coming together. I like the separate buildings and stuff. That's that's fun. Yeah. Which will um, make which will make uh, when we start doing viaducts a lot fun too. So. Yeah. Oh, this looks. Sweet. I did a little bit. Of, I did a little bit of terraforming of like the little patches of grass along the aqueduct by that by the starter house and stuff. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it looks good. Our base is sweet, it's just nowhere near done yet. Wow. Wow. Like, it's it's getting there, right? Like, what has been done has been done with a lot of care and detail. Uh, it's not grandiose that needs to be filled in. It's It seems to be every time we need something, we build some stuff, right? Yeah. And and you, you also didn't restrict yourself to the uh, foolish idea of only building in one chunk. It's true. Ow. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to take this this uh, cactus farm up a, up a few. Need lots more cactus. You think that's too small? You think um, oh, yeah. 32 cacti is not gonna cut it if we do a double layer there? Uh, I mean, it might be fine. You could also we could also go back too, right? You can go a bit further. You struggle with the accumulators. Well, we just build another accumulator. Yeah, that's also that's also why there's the water stream in case. Yeah. Of air quotes struggle. But if you just go, if you double this here, and then we go up one, that's probably great. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I do need to move it back, don't I? No, I I think you can. It can stay where it is. <clears throat> but just double it by building the same thing in in this area. Sure. And then we go up one level, and then I think that's probably totally fine for the foreseeable future. Actually, you know what kind of cool, uh, especially for the uh, the water stream? Yeah. Is these are the water source blocks. I could actually just double it without a gap, you know what I mean? Just like... This way. And oh, then right. Second... Yeah, and then we have the water stream that way, and it just it just wraps around into another chest and a hopper and we pipe that in and it's all fine you know what yeah. I mean? yeah yeah that'd be sweet all right <laughs> stop making me want to play modded minecraft james sorry boogie it's a lot of fun uh all right so you should check out Surgecraft, foogie it's good stuff okay so i have enough time that i think i can probably yeah get this mo uh, get this texture pack and go recheck out lonely t lonely texas oh that'd be rad all right and i i might actually have to uh to bounce right now. All right, so I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna disconnect here. Uh, Thank you very much, friends. Hope you have a great day. Base. All right, so bye. Later. Till later.
All right, so where is this? Can somebody link the uh, mod or the the thing in? Uh, I think the, it's the, the linked in Surge's I'm chat. Not, I'm not in Surge's. Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, can you link it in the um, Minecraft channel in the Discord? Um, just because that's what's on this computer. I don't have chat open on this computer. Give me a second. There you go. What? Where did you just send it? The Minecraft channel on the uh, Discord. Ah, perfect. Download this. All right. Show a folder. Uh... Going too far past my own uh, wall. Sure, you want to load this resource pack? It's made from milk. Okay, let's try to do it. It's my. Well, we'll find out. Right. Waiting. Download as well. This is taking a little bit. I feel like it might have crashed Minecraft. I, yeah, I ha I've had the occasional issue with setting up resource packs. Resources packs do take a while normally, but not normally this long. Normally this long. Hmm. Uh, talking sim today is Battletech. The calendar is updated uh, for today. I'm going to update the calendar for the rest of the week after the show along with the event page. This, this is taking, yeah. like, this is, yeah, okay. I think, I think my client's done the same. Yeah. Like, kill the client, boot the client. <laughs> but it should be applied when you reboot the client, so. Find out. No worries, only, only text. Not a big deal. It happens. And this pack doesn't take too long to boot back up, so.
do, 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 do. Ah, all right. This is definitely different. It works. Have you seen Have you seen Texas Pack? No, this looks cool though. Red keyframe, six months. Welcome back. Loading terrain. Ah, all right. I'm digging it. trees though I have yet to see what my base looks like in this well the water is cool I like the water nice all right let's go button don't tell surge but ah. <laughs> he hasn't found uh... that. he hasn't found that one yet <laughs> Vortex, there we go. I also did that a while ago and he hasn't done anything about it. At least I don't think he's found it. Uh Alright, Vortex. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The mossy stone bricks are that's super cool looking. Yeah, it looks a lot less busy then oh i like the switch i like the texture of the switch cool oh, i like the trap doors too those look cool for some reason can you turn sea lanterns off no yeah uh. Yeah, there's, like this... there's some weird lighting glitch here. I don't yeah. know what this is. Moss I don't know if it just needs a block update. Nope, that didn't do it. Weird. Hmm. This, looks, this looks super cool, though. I like this. The tree. I'm digging the, the leaves, the spruce leaves. Ah, uh, there we go. Fixed it. Just need didn't need a block of date. Yeah, that's better. Oh, there's still another one over here too. Nice. There we go. That's better. Cool. Yeah, this looks this looks um, neat. Looking up. No, that's a cloud. I was like, what's going on there? But it's oh, a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> I still have clouds turned on here. Cool. And down here. So like all the dynamos and stuff still. Yeah, they have yeah, they, that's still the same. Yeah. Whoa. This looks... Wow. Lava looks good. What do ores look like? Ah, that's cool. That's very clear as to like, okay. Yeah. So we have to change that. Is there any... This is iron? No, that's granite. This is the iron, isn't it? Yeah, that's iron ore. Neat. And then I wonder, silver. Uh, done silver yet? Cause silver. Yeah, they have. Cause nickel, nickel is done. Silver is right here. Ah, cool. Cause silver always looked like diamond. Gold. That's dirt. Silver. Neat. This is really cool. Oh, diamonds. Nice. Good lord, that's a lot of diamonds. So wait, what is what happens when I break where's some coal? That was coal. Uh 
So breaking a block looks really cool as well. I've seen I've seen mods that do that. Oh. There's a countdown on it. Yeah, it goes like three, two, one. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, how do I escape from this? Cobblestone is kinda cool. Oh yeah, I guess I could just go like this. Yeah. Six. Seven. Wait, why is it backwards? Oh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Well, that is that is backwards. The seven is the wrong way. I haven't fixed it yet. Ah. Okay. They changed how they're fixing animation faces. So, wait, how did we get out of here? Uh, the torches in the middle. Ah, there it is. And then up. Oh, uh, there's clay as well here. You just come back down here. Oh, cool. Wait, that one's right, though. That's weird. Clay is right, but the stone is not. Um, Slate is right Slate's as well. Slate's right? Just that's, stone. that's weird. Alright. Well, anyways, this Black looks super dodge. cool. I am digging how this looks. Yeah, this the base. Uh, I like the leaves. The leaves are. Oh, the portal looks so cool. That's super cool. All right. Of the way. Boop. Thank you everybody for hanging out today. That is going to do it from me. It is 11:58. It's time for me to get out of here. Make make way for Adam, who's going to be in here uh, in just a few minutes playing a game called Left Alive. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Uno, I will talk to you next week when we start a brand new mod yeah. pack. Where is... We'll have to have a chat about that. Yep, we sure will, but that's for future us to worry about. Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright, catch you later. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for uh, subbing and, and, and bits and all that jazz. Really appreciate it. As I said, Adam's coming up next here on New Day Tuesday. I'll be back at 3 for one more. And then coming up tonight is Corey and Cameron, and they are playing Battletech on tonight's Talking Sim. Uh, I apologize for the lack of calendar or event page updates. Uh, I will be doing that right now as, as soon as I grab some food. This was a lot of fun. I will talk to everybody later. Have a good day. Toodles.